Good morning, guys. Eric James, L'Oreal Professional Regional Educator for the Northeast. It's Dia time. Let's do it. All right, stars of the show. We got Dia Rochesse and Dia Light. Who is Dia? Dia is our demi-permanent line. It complements our permanent lines, Anoa and Majorelle, beautifully. Um, there are several differences and some similarities, and that's kind of what we're going to go into today. So, to start right off with everything, I want to say thank you for your time. Um, I hope everybody out there is doing well. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and itching to get back behind the chair, because I know I am. We all are, right? So, Dia Light and Dia Chess. <clears throat> Let's talk differences and similarities. So, some things that are similar with Dia Rochesse and Dia Light are processing times of 2 to 20 minutes, ammonia free, 1 to 1 and a half mix ratio, meaning one part color, one and a half developer. And they're both awesome, so, but that's where things start to break apart a little bit, right? <clears throat> now, simple things, right? So, one, Dia Light is acidic, Dia Rochesse is alkaline. Um, Dia Light utilizes a 6 and a 9 volume, where Dia Rochesse utilizes a 9 and a 15. Reason being is, where Dia Rochesse is alkaline based, it has the, it has the ability to uh, blend gray up to 70% when utilized with a 15 volume developer and an N. Dia Light, on the flip side, will give you no gray coverage and it has no lift at all, straight deposit. So now that we're kind of, you know, shaking and jiving, moving with it, right? We want to really understand who these products are for, when, why, and how. So right off the bat, a really good example to use is consider porosity. The more porous the hair, the more you're gonna to want to go towards Dia Light, which again is being acidic, it's only gonna enter sensitized hair and open cuticles. If this is a closed cuticle, and this is Dia Light, it's got nowhere to go. For instance, if I put Dia Light on my hair, which is virgin, I would see no effect besides maybe a little bit of shine. There would be no lift, there would be no gray coverage, no demarcation lines, anything like that. Now on the flip side, Dia Rochesse is alkaline. So what that means is it's gonna what? It's gonna swell, right? So, your developer is gonna go in, take this closed cuticle, begin that process of decolorization if you're using a 15, and starting to lift these scales so the precursors and couplers can get in, develop, and deposit those dye molecules. For, right? Like, is it's just it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous so now let's talk in terms of finishes right because obviously they're gonna have very very different finishes as you can see right here so as you guys can probably tell I'm big on visuals right that's how I learn um, Hands-on and visuals, they, they really guide me. So you'll notice that I'll be uh, providing a lot, a lot of visuals. And I find that this is a perfect example, right? When we're talking about the difference in finish between a Dia Light and a Dia Rochesse. So which one are you going to reach to? Now again, remember what I say. Dia Light, think light. Bright, light, blondes, bright. Rochesse richness, depth, dimension, you know, t taking that, you know, those hollow blondes and, and, and just really bringing light back into it. So how we're going to do that is partly by the finish. So a Dia Light finish is going to be much more prismatic, right? Only two and a half levels of deposit and the die load is, is really pumped up so you can just get the job done. So remember to utilize your clear, all right? It's very important in this line. So. Let's see these finishes. So Dia Light is gonna give you a finish it's closer to this. All right. So here's our 911 right here. Dia Light. But on the flip side, Dia Rochesse, 
I'm not gonna say opaque because it's not. It does let that natural luster and, and, and shine come through. It's not there to completely mask it, but it, it's not opaque, but it's not transparent. So it's right in between, but it brings depth and dimension like you've never seen along with incredible shine. The finish of that one, however, as you can see, it's gonna be a little bit deeper. So you've got your D-Lite and your D-Rochef. Okay, so now that we've seen the visual on the finishes and how the opacity and the prismaticness kind of scale next to each other, I actually want to apply a little bit on, um, on our model here. So what I did is I went ahead and I mixed DRHS 9.11 with uh, 9 volume and in a 1 to 1 and a half mix ratio. I chose the shade 9.11, beautiful shade. So I did the same in Dialite, 9 volume and I did 1 to 1 and a half, again 9.11, beautiful, beautiful gunmetal. So now let's meet our beautiful model. This is uh, Sally. That works, right? So I'm going to be applying 911 Rochesse first on this panel. And as I'm taking some pretty big sections here, you know, as you can, hopefully you can see at home, the, uh, I'd like to know what you guys think. What do you, what's upcoming? What do you see uh, forecasted in the trends? Do we see chunky highlights really coming back? Do we see baby lights hanging around? Um, what is it? Let me know. Drop it in the uh, comment section. I'd love to know. And now, once I've got this nice and stuck, I'm also utilizing the dedicated BS9 foils. They're absolutely incredible. 100% aluminum, so they distribute heat evenly, they retain it evenly, and it provides an even lift. No bimetals in there. Right? I also prefer to sandwich. I'm not a big fan of making a thousand folds in my foils, right? I'm not trying to make origami, I'm not trying to make cranes. I want that heat to circulate well. So what I will do is I'll pinch off my corners. Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. Come in. And with the foil being folded like this, it's neat. It's clean, this, it's, it's not flapping around, it's not gonna open up, and all that heat from the heat zone here can circulate evenly. Over to the next side, get our dear light going here, right? Everybody doing good so far? All right. So, the best part about this whole exercise is that in order to see the results, you got to tune in next week. So, now we'll apply the deal light, and you'll notice I'm almost using a balayage technique as I apply, or maybe a root shadow. I like that soft diffusion here. As you move a brush up, you remove color. You place it as you stroke down. So now once again, I've got my foil stuck. Also too, if you get in the habit of ripping these foils long like this, what you can do is you can really avoid, you know when somebody's doing a lightener and they come down here and the hair's long and they start swirling it and swirling it and so, we don't have to do that. We, we, if we're already lightening the hair, we want to be as delicate as possible. Now we're coming back around. Placing my outer foil. Holding it up. And I will now set a timer. 
for 20 minutes. All right, so while Sally processes, let's go do a little deep dive into D or Chess and actually what it is, how to use it, and the nuances of it. So it is an ammonia-free, it is a gel. Uh, it's a one to one and a half mix ratio, like we discussed. You are going to utilize nine and 15 volume. You can use six volume, but that's for more creative applications that we will talk to we'll get a little, a little bit later. We'll get more into that stuff, right? Um, but remember, anything alkaline is gonna swell. So take your color theory, the law of color, everything else you know about pH scales, put it together, and you'll know why I'm talking six. We can actually talk about that next time if you'd like, right? Um, you're gonna get up to four levels of deposit. You're gonna get up to a level and a half of lift when using the 15. But what's great is you'll get up to 70% gray blending, right? I tend to use blending over coverage all the time because some of my clients, if I say coverage, right, in this right here, it's over, right? We're done. Blending, choose your verbiage wisely, right? You know your clients, come on. Um, so yeah, two to 20 minute process time. Uh, your developer choice, use wisely if you are going to blend gray or if you're just gonna do a single for say somebody who doesn't have any gray at all. Uh, nine volumes, great choice. One to one and a half, don't even put them into a permanent yet. So those are the, the, the benefits of a D or Chess, right? So again, Rochesse, richness, deep brunette, Think of balancing your permanent colors. Think of bringing richness, depth, and dimension back into those mids and ends. Do you light? Again, do you light, light, bright, blondes? That's where your glaze is gonna kind of live at, your toning, all, all those capabilities. So you're looking at zero lift. You're looking at, and actually, you know what? Somebody drop in the box, why this zero lift? And I will make sure to send you out a beautiful L'Oreal professional prize. So, coming back, you are gonna get zero lift, zero, absolutely zero gray coverage or blending. Uh, again, acidic in nature. Two to 20 minute process time. Six and nine volume are your choices. The only difference between the two, honestly, is the speed in which it moves. So, if you wanna eat your lunch, right? Use six volume. But if you got three clients staring at you because you're already two clients behind, I bust out the nine real quick, right? But be mindful, you are going to want to utilize clear when you use Deolite, especially on those high, high, high blondes, those 11, 12s, the silvers, the whites, the, the gun metals, right? You're really gonna wanna make sure you utilize your clear so you don't over deposit because our milkshake shades are hyperpigmented. Because I'm talking about now the stars here, the uh, the milkshakes, I want to go back real quick to DeRochesse and talk about the metals. 0.11, bro. It is level free tone, but it's got a base, so it won't fall out like a mixer. More on that, another class. But you literally can neutralize without bringing any depth to anything. It's, it's incredible. You also have 0.24, which is a beautiful rose gold. So each of these are, are very unique in nature. They can do so many different things. It's up to you to decide which client is right for which product, right? So I'm gonna go check on Sally. She better have her checkbook with her. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. And don't worry, I'm gonna let you go soon, I promise. So I just wanna say thank you to Sally for helping us illustrate just that difference in finish. You know, what? it's just softer versus heavier. All positive things because there's not a right solution for everything, right? So that's where you, the professional, come in hand. We're giving you these tools to use, to utilize, to create because we know you can do it. We know. You're our family, our team, the L'Oreal Professional team. That's what we do, right? We inspire, we create, we motivate, we keep it moving. And so to all of my stylists out there, all the LP family, everybody else, I wish you the best. We'll see you soon.
please come to see my live next week. Um, I'll have multiple, multiple um, hmm, classes. Yeah, I'll have multiple classes loaded up through the coming weeks. I will absolutely have a schedule out for you. So my call to action to you is to get out there and, well, actually, don't, <laughs> no, just kidding, don't go nowhere, don't go nowhere. Stay home, but if you've got a stylist friend you haven't talked to, call them, right? We all need some love right now, right? We all do, we all do, and we're all thinking of each other, but what we fail to do is pick up the phone and say, hey, thinking of you. Just call to action, make somebody's day, like you guys do for me, because the thing is, I've been behind the chair 20 years, Nothing gets me more excited than be able to share with you guys. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for the opportunity I've been given through L'Oreal Professional. What an amazing team. Um, but to button it up, uh, like I said, I'll be having more classes set up very soon. You can catch me on Instagram at L'Orealchemist. You can catch me at Zoom when I send you the invite. You ain't going to catch me elsewhere. Um, and right here, Facebook Live. All of them running and gunning. So, if there are any questions I have not answered or any topics I have not covered, please drop me a line. You can leave it at Instagram at Lori Alchemist, uh, Facebook, Eric James, or on one of my Zoom classes, or just email me. Um, I will leave a link with all of my information so you can contact me at your leisure. I am here for you. The stylist, that is what we do. Um, if you have any, any, any follow-up on DIA, please, by all means, reach out to any of the regional educators you have nationally. Uh, L'OrealAccess.com, with just drop, select US on the drop-down. Uh, the pro site. There's education everywhere, right? We're, we're, we're working day and night to get it to you. So please, consume it, consume it, consume it, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Really, thank you.